Hi guys, Shimmy here, back again with a Pearl Harbor Group build, hosted by Charlie Mark and Al Wood. Part 2 of the build is the, the fuel truck here, um, as you can see, showed this one last week. The fuel truck, there's uh, three figures with us, so we've got all our lights in it this morning. Um, just the wee auxiliary bits and pieces have to go on, there's two doors here, so a couple of grab handles, wing mirrors, uh, the filler tank uh, cap. Um, a couple of wee bits and pieces. So we're capping the scale with those we uh, make relates. Turn my sort of big light off. So as I said, we're capping the scale with those two uh, we make relates I put into it. So you have a search light at the top here. Uh, your two tail lights and um, your two headlamps. Um, we still have the grill to go across this. Um, the light back on again. Our door has to go on. Um, our driver has to go in. get him all painted up and so forth. Um, did get paints in, I'll show them in a second. Um, there's what, but eight figures all the air was built. So there's a bottle box of ICM separate and three came with a truck. None came with the B17 at all. So there's two are already in that. Um, the, the cockpit, um, the pilot and one stand behind him. Did show out in the previous videos. Um, the paint that I got in, I've never used these type of paints before, so I'm gonna give them a try. US Army World War II uniform set. Um, so we'll see if they're all bright. You get those colours at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six colours. Um, I haven't even read any instructions yet, so I'll get a wee read out of it later. So hopefully they'll be okay. They were cheap enough. If they work out, um, I'll buy a couple of boxes because we're going to need them for this diorama coming up. Um, I got my last and final kit in for the diorama. I can't remember showed this all the one the other day, but I'll just show it again quickly. Uh, it's the Jeep with those three figures and there's a wee trailer with it. So that'll go on to the diorama I spoke of. And the last kit that I got in is another Jeep. Um, you get a figure of that. So there's about four of these Jeeps all together. One built and there's three to be built. All right, back to this. Um, Finished the B17 there a couple of days ago. I did put the video up on that. Um, got a rain working on that. Uh, the motors, just show it quickly here. Let's get these out of the road first. Don't want anything getting broke while it's prop spinning. So that's that finished. That has the one to the base. The base is sitting to one side. Um, and we'll get this in the primary now, the, the fuel truck. Once you get those all wee bits and pieces on it. Uh, on their side, you've got the two wires. Obviously, you run out here for the, the power supply. That black hose here is the fuel hose. So there's a wee cap, or sorry, a uh, nozzle has to go on to the end of that. And then it'll go on to the plane. Just to find exactly where it is it's going to be hooked up to. Um, there's a couple of doors to go on here. Um, say the wing mirrors, front grill. Uh, that headlamp lens has to go on. Um, what else is there? There's, there's really nothing else. You get a couple of dazzles for it here and there. Um, I think there's two options. On the side, as I said, um, the body, nicely detailed on the side, multi parts on, on the side. The main chassis itself was one piece, which was good to see for the scale. Um, running gear and suspension all were all mixture of separate parts and multi parts put together if you know what I mean on, on the sprue um, plastic tires plastic wheels I'm not too keen on them but if you paint them up right as I said before they don't look too bad all the wires and so forth resistors and all are actually inside the tanker itself so you're not you don't really see them the only wires you're really going to see here is the wires that I have here in my hand um, those two wires four wires all together run from the front end that feeds the headlamps. So as I say, once I get this all primed and painted, you're not going to really see those anywhere. You know, I see that anyway, not much is down under the board, so mixed at lots. So here you go, guys. Um, look, really come to the end of this here. Hopefully, I'll have knocked out next couple of days. I suppose that was finished early uh, yesterday here, but it was caught up in other things, so I just got stuck in this again this morning. Um, the wee figures that came with it, not too badly detailed if my cm see if i can get this camera focused a bit better 
And not too badly detailized, no head in this one, just stuck his arms on and so forth. Uh, he's carrying his gloves in one hand. Um, I think he's wearing a bomber jacket, so that's one of the officers. Then we have a mechanic, again he's no head, I haven't put his head on just yet. He's holding a spanner in his hand. And then the last one here, I think he's a mechanic of some sort. He's wearing his overalls. Uh, he's no hat on yet. But let's say, not badly detailed. Um, these V148 figures have seen worse. But as I say, once I get them all painted and done, whatever else, I'll get them added to the, the diorama. Um, there is three figures that came with the Tamiya kit. Uh, they are on the sprue still, just haven't got around the building those just yet. Uh, let's see if we can get them here. It always has to be the last sprue. There you go. So you have three here. Now, what do you want, cat? Um, there's the other nozzle. Spoke of her a second ago. That goes on to the other end of the fuel hose. Goes on to the plane then. Um, a few other different bits and pieces. You get extra with it, so I'll debate whether I put them onto the kit or not and see what happens. Anyway, right, guys, not problem. So, there you go. So, we but sure, she's really starting to take shape now. Um, once this is done, I'm moving on to uh, Cliff's GM Mechanics scale modeling, um, his motorbike build, and then my big build, my own personal build, was starting at the end of that month. But I will be doing other builds in between, so hopefully. It should work out okay for me. Right guys, no way, so thanks for watching. Um, I'll speak to you all later. Bye.